Alright, and we are back for another match of this league. So, we get to play first. Ugh, this hand is complete poop, but I'm going to keep because we have two um, infect creatures. Uh, I'm also kind of happy that I'm on the play with them. And drawing five lands means I should just go a bunch of running spells in a row. You know... That's what's supposed to happen, right? Anyone? Alright. Alright, so... I'm going to play a second forest, and I'm going to attack first, and then I'm going to play the Taxium Probe. The reason why is maybe my opponent has a removal spell and is not inclined to kill it, and then after I get Taxium Probe, maybe it is? I don't know why my opponent... I, my opponent is way too greedy with wanting to kill my creature on my turn, allowing me to untap with my force. Unfortunately, it's going to work out, but, you know, happens. I also probably will not play this Blight Mamba on turn 2 now. I'll probably wait till turn 4 when I can leave up regeneration for it. So we'll see how that works. So my opponent did not kill it, so let's go ahead and look at my opponent's hand. Let's see what they have... They are burn. They do have a lightning bolt and a lava spike and a wow. <laughs> this is gonna be pretty tough. Burn is actually a pretty tough matchup to beat with um, infect, especially in this format because you're not that quick. But it <coughs> excuse me it would help a little bit more if um, if uh, you know I wasn't so light on protection. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this before I forget. Uh, new. Da -da. Okay. Well, that didn't work out too well for me. Um, yeah, I think I still here just have to say go. I mean, right now my opponent has 12 damage in their hand, and if... I clicked the wrong thing. And uh, if they you know, assemble some more lightning bolt effects before I can beat them, I die. It just happens. <laughs> Alright, so my opponent took a little while to take his turn. I guess they may be double queuing or something. Uh, so they lava, they lightning lava bolted. They lightning bolted me, and then they lava spiked me and needle dropped me. And because of the taxing probe, I'm at 11, which sucks. But, um, you know. So... There is a chance we could win this game. It just requires me not to die and to draw, like, double groundswell. Okay, Vines is a good start. So we'll go ahead and play Blight Mamba. <coughs> Excuse me. And we will attack with the Glistener Elf. So my opponent's at two. I, I need one... Any pump spell in my deck wins the game, considering the fact that I have Vines. So assuming that I don't have to use it without the kicker... Uh, any pump spell in my deck wins the game, which is cool. I'll be back when my opponent lets me go. Okay, so they took one, and they're chain lightning me now. Okay, I'm at eight. I'm at seven. If they have land, another bolt. Well, they don't. <clears throat> so any pump spell wins, and then I'm just, you know, I guess praying. Hopefully their hand is like Searing Blaze, Searing Blaze, Fire Blast, and then I can just win the game. <laughs> I guess they'll be Searing Blaze wouldn't be good for me either, but still, you know. Unless my opponent's slow rolling me, then that would just be, you know, obnoxious. Okay, so that is the game. Assuming my opponent, you know, doesn't do anything... Then that is the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute a gender growth this guy and see what my opponent does. My opponent chose not to do anything. Um, okay. Actually, I probably should have done that because... Yeah, that was, that was a misplay. The reason why is my opponent can still fire blast this in response and now I can't save it. 
Let's see what my opponent does. Alright. Well, with kick. So, what I should have done was meet a Genicro with this guy, and then, you know. So now my opponent... Oh, my opponent just didn't Fire Blast. Okay, well, assuming my opponent Fire Blast this, and then doesn't, like, bolt me at the end of turn, I'm at 7. Assuming, maybe, that my opponent doesn't kill this creature. Uh, let's see here, that's... Well, they'd be at, um, they'd be at seven. I draw a probe into, okay, into just two uncastable cards. So I had to go there, and hopefully my opponent messed up. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't really see a reason to change all that much. The problem with Nature's Claim is that the only thing I can kill is Ecker Claw Mirror. I guess I could kill my own Ranker. So that's probably better, because it gains me four. <clears throat> but there's really nothing else to, to take out. Like, I have to say to myself, is my opponent going to leave in Curse of the Pure Start? And then I can bring in four Nature's Claim, but until then I'm just going to leave in the other Predator Strike. And let's just go right back into it. I agree with my opponent. <clears throat> my opponent's on 62 cards. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. I suppose. I guess it's also worth noting that I um, that mean Genic Growth is also particularly good in this matchup because of the electricery. But um, I'm gonna keep this hand because I have two infect guys in my hand. My opponent was lucky enough to keep seven. Though I guess in a burn deck where you only need like two or three lands, you're gonna be able to keep seven cards when you have like 61 or 62, something like that. I don't actually know the math, and luck usually isn't involved with math. My opponent almost passed the turn there. That would have been great. <laughs> the good thing is we got game one set. If, unfortunately, we lose this game... That was a good draw. If, unfortunately, we lose this game... Uh, um, oh, we actually win turn three because of that draw, which is cute. Uh... I forgot what I was talking about. Must not very... Oh, uh, we get to be on the play for game three if we unfortunately lose this game. I'm getting sidetracked because I'm also watching something at the same time. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so my opponent put me to 11 as three cards in hand. I'm going to go ahead and play... Actually, I'm going to play Blight Mamba. The reason I'm playing Blight Mamba is just in case, for some reason, my opponent has Artifact Destruction. Now it doesn't work. <laughs> Searing Blaze. Alright, well, I'm gonna make my guy big. Okay, so my opponent does have Electricery. So we're gonna go to Ape. My opponent only has one card in hand, and we have quite a bit of gas. So we're not far off from winning. Unfortunately, we still take three because of how Searing Blaze is worded, but what are you gonna do? Um, Alright, well, I'm gonna play the second Blight Mamba, and I'm gonna end my turn. My opponent has one card in hand. Hopefully it's a Searing Blaze or something, so that... Well, no, I guess that's not true. I just want them to have mountains. I just want my burn opponent to always draw mountains. I don't think that's too that's too much to ask, right? I just want the next seven cards of my opponent's... Top of my opponent's deck to just be mountains. <laughs> well, I got part of my wish because my opponent cycled a Forgotten Cave. And then suspended a bolt, or rift bolt rather. So yeah. All right, we drew a land. Uh, hmm, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really want to keep the land in my hand. So I'm just going to attack for one. And see what my opponent does. And since both of these cards actually just win the game next turn. I'm just going to leave my Blight Mamba alone. I'm just not even going to cast this creature. And if my opponent goes to Rift Bolt it, I'll regenerate it. 
And if my opponent Rift Bolts me, I lose to any two burn spells, but there's not much I can do about that, so... Considering the fact that both of these win next turn, especially if I can draw, like, another Vines or something, I'd be in good shape. Alright, well, I'm at five. Moment of truth, I suppose? Alright. If my opponent has not any other burn spell, I die. Oh, no, wait. I'm at four. If they have a Fire Blast, I die. Please don't have Fire Blast? Son of a... <laughs> Can't say that word. Uh, Alright. So they had the perfect cards, unfortunately. And we're just going to go right back into it. There really isn't much more to sideboard in. If I was going to prepare for this matchup... Um... I mean, I didn't draw it there, but you could, instead of having Nature's Claim, you could play Norish, is what I would play. Um, instead of having maybe all four gut shots, you could shave some cards. I would still recommend having four Wandering Wolf. That should be a four of. Automatically, that should just be a four of. And, um, you know. It's too bad that... Uh, that Searing Blaze is... Um, Two targets, sometimes. But, such is life. It happens. Alright, see what happens here. Cannot keep this hand. Although it's a good hand, you don't have anything going, and you can't really keep without a um, Infector. This hand, however, is pretty good. We can keep this hand. I don't want that. So we'll go ahead and play Glistener Elf, and pass the turn. And we'll see how my opponent reacts. Hopefully, I don't know. We really should uh, technically not still be in this match, but... Whatever. Martyr of Ashes? What? That's not a legal card. I know it's legal, but come on. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to attack here, and then I'm going to play both seal strengths. Like I said, Burn is just not a good matchup. Back back in the day, it was with Invigorate. Um, because, like, these would be Invigorates right now. So it would have been a little bit easier. Because I could actually cast one of these and still hold up Invigorate, but... Unfortunately, that's not the case. And also, fortunately, at the same time. Needless to say, this deck is performing a lot better than I thought it would, so I'm not unhappy about this. Uh, I cannot answer this person at this moment in time, but I will leave it there. My opponent is blocking? Okay. That's fine with me. Maybe that signals to me that my opponent does not have a second land? I'm not really sure. But, um... No, they do. They have a Searing Blaze? Man, my opponent just has it all! Jeez. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, the real... The strategy for when you're playing a burn deck against, like, Infect... If you're going to kill their creatures, you should do it on your turn. Obviously, so that... Um, any pump spells that you do... Any pump spells that your opponent gets to do aren't on their turn while they're getting to attack. So, my opponent... Is somewhat playing it correctly. Alright, well, we'll play this Glistener Elf, and we'll play the Seal of Strength. And then we will pass the turn. And again, we're not really far off from winning. I mean, a Vines of the Vastwood wins the game, which is pretty cool. Okay, maybe now it doesn't. Now we can't even attack. We are at 16, which is not terrible. And a Suspended Rift Bolt, okay. Guess we'll see what my opponent does. Right as I say that, they said go. Groundswell. Uh, okay, well, we'll play Blight Mamba and pass the turn. And if my opponent goes to kill my creature, depending on which one it is, I might save it, or I might, I, I might not, actually. But we'll see what my opponent does. 
So the Rift Bolt's going to come off Suspend. Hmm. That's the problem with this matchup. You're always so close, yet so far away. Alright, so he's, he is going after me. Because I think he expects me not to block. Which I very well might. Oh, well, that's probably why. Alright. I don't think I'll block now, because I have to just go for the win, yeah. So, I kind of have to just go for the win. I don't really have a choice. So, land off the top, or Vines of the Vastwood, or Mutagenic Growth wins the game. How about another Blight Mamba? Had I known I was going to draw that, I would have easily blocked. Easily would have blocked. Well, I just got to say go now. That's the thing about running a deck like this. Sometimes you just you lose because you just don't draw the right cards at the right time. Burn, of course, isn't like that because any creatures that they draw is obviously a good card. But, you know. So I'm going to go to 8. And if my opponent has 3 burn spells, I'm dead. If they don't, good. Maybe they just have lands in hand. Although I don't think they played a land last turn, so that probably isn't true. Okay, so I, I am dying this turn. So, we could have won this game had I drawn a land like a cool person, but I didn't. But still, this deck uh, performed way better than I thought. I, I came in knowing... Wow, really? Just had the same draw every single game. That's depressing. Alright then. Give me a second and I'll be right back. Alright, so... Let me click this off for a second. <laughs> So, I like this deck a lot. I think it performed way better than I thought it would. Uh, if you want to play Lotus Petals, I could understand. Maybe if you want to cut the Cataxian Probes. Um, but I would probably, at, war at most, play like two Lotus Petals. And I would maybe go with like minus one Praetor Strike and minus one Forest for that and only play two of them because I really like Cataxian Probe in this deck. As far as the sideboard goes, I can easily see, like, 1, 2, and 3 cut for Nourish. Never touch... I'm sorry, not Wandering Wolf. Never touch Young Wolf. Ever touch this guy. I could also see cutting Nature's Claim for, like, you know, 3 Nourish, and then maybe something that makes a token at instant speed for cheap. I know there's a card from... I know there's one of the charms, I think, from, like, Onslaught or something that makes Sapling tokens, I remember correctly. Or, um... Maybe it's a charm from, like, Visions. I remember it's a charm. I don't remember what set it's from, but... Uh, you know, to do that. But either way, I'm pretty happy with how this deck performed. I think this these three matches showed you exactly how this deck performs. I think uh, we had to get kind of lucky to win against Delver and the blue-black deck, but luck is a part of magic. A very large part of magic. And... Um, you know, I think I got rewarded for just going for it with this deck. I think that's just what happened. And I think against the burn deck, I lost a matchup that is just not good for me in, in the first place. So, there you go. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you next time, and you guys stay cool. See you later.